Today we're hiking at Red River Gorge, Boomer Ridge, Coomer Ridge. It's eight miles. It's cold. Sean's fat. I'm fat. We'll warm up pretty quick. It is cold. I should have wore underwear. I'm trying to guide us, but you're yelling. We were supposed to go that way. We went the wrong way. It's your fault. No, it says this is the right way. This isn't even a trail. Unbelievable. Ah! This isn't really even a trail. This is just someone's backyard and it's not the first time. At this rate, we're not gonna be home until tomorrow. So we were on the right trail at first and now we're on the other trail, which is also the wrong trail. So we're just gonna get back in the car and go back home. I'm not friends with him anymore and I'm done with hiking and this channel's done. So Sean brought his big backpack today. I've already seen three White Castles fall out of it. Last night, I stared in the mirror for about 45 minutes, just crying. The thought that was going through my mind the whole time is how, how could something so hideous exist? But it does. Your stride is long, dude. You're like a Clydesdale. You look like one, you smell like one, you walk like one. So this is scientific. It's based in science. Anytime you eat something healthy, you can consume the same amount of volume in unhealthy food. It completely cancels itself out. That's what I love about biscuits and gravy and bacon, egg and cheese sandwiches. They're very healthy for you. Thank God for Photoshop and video editing because these videos will be a hundred times dumber than they already are. I'm starting to warm up a little bit. This is lush, man. Lucius, that's the word, Lucius. This is a Lucius forest. I think I left a heater on in my bathroom. You got renter's insurance? Yeah, I have renter's insurance, so I'm good. Worst case scenario, it's not that my place is burned down. Worst case scenario is that my gun collection has been damaged. A lot of people, they don't look at the positives in situations. One of the positives about your house catching on fire and losing everything is that your toilet seat is warm. That way, when you find out the information about your house burning down and you crap yourself, you, you have your toilet seat's warm. That's the type of person I am. I try to find that the positive in every situation. Those are claws. The misty forest, luscious and elegant. The uprooted tree, fallen, sad, but luscious elegant could you imagine going hiking with somebody that has like a, a fetish for trees they're like oh god whoa look at that maple look at that oak oh god oak look at that sycamore oh. there's a video on my strange obsession it's a big track. yeah it is that print had extended claws. That's not a dog. That's a bear track. <laughs> a bear pops out. It's like chewing through your rib cage. I'm like, Sean, whatever you do, don't run. If you run, it will attack. Don't run, Sean. Stay calm. <laughs> make sure we are prepared. Yeah, make sure you point it at me first. <laughs> I can't help it. My gun aims towards ugly. Damn it. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Sean brought his little prostitute pistol. He usually keeps it in his purse, so it's got a little bit of lipstick and foundation on it. But no, seriously, and I'm, and I'm being serious. The number one thing you want to do when you encounter a black bear, a lot of people have this wrong, but I know from personal experience, you want to take off like a bat out of hell and get the hell out of there. Why would you stick around for something like that? Take off, run. Grizzly bears can run up to a speed of around 12 miles an hour. Black bears, probably five or six miles an hour. So you're good. You just want to get out of there. I don't understand why people wait. When you get attacked by a bear, it's because you're standing there waiting for it to come to you. As soon as I step in the woods, everything scatters. It's just the stink. It's that Mueller musk. It's that German. It's that sauerkraut in me. Mixed with that Choctaw and that uh, Irish whiskey. We're at the start of the loop now and we're gonna go to the right. These are rhododendrons, a native plant species to Southern Appalachia. A lot of people don't know this, but these actually grow in Alaska, I think. You think there's a distillery down here? Distilleries out here? Yeah. Yeah, but they're not official. That's what I mean. <laughs> like moonshine distilleries? Yeah, moonshine. Oh, for sure. I would rather walk up on a bear than a someone's private distillery. Because a bear won't try to you. <laughs> Come here, boy. You look like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you look like my brother, and that really does something to me. I was in Corbin one time and I stopped at a gas station and this guy came up and started talking to me. I could not understand anything he was saying. It sounded like he had a mouthful of marbles. That's warveling. Warveling? Warveling. Oh, okay. Well, he was warveling. I was wondering how long I was going to be able to get the number one thing. Oh, I got you. Yeah. One of those things went out, we we'll go down there on a mountain down there, and then the truck run out of gas. And you go to the cousin's house, well, you fall asleep on your cousin's couch, you wake up naked in the bed next to her. Alabama. I'm gonna get me one of them purple monsters. I'm gonna get me one of them sugar-free monsters and then you already know I'm going to my cousin's house. <laughs> we just came up on Indian Staircase here and it looks a lot bigger in the pictures. Is really Indian Staircase? Yeah, this is Indian Staircase. Seriously? Yep, that's it. 
that's Indian staircase, just in case anybody was wondering. It's about four feet tall. It's it's really it's really not even worth seeing. So if you come to the gorge, don't even don't even worry about Indian staircase. I'm just kidding, that's not Indian staircase. Indian staircase is awesome. It's a climb for sure. But yeah, I think I am a camel. Have you seen my forehead? Yeah, there's a lot of water in my forehead. There's a lot of water in the back of my head. I'm like one of the thousand pound sisters. Rock. What is that? So the temperature down here by the river has dropped about 10 degrees, 15 degrees, about uh, three and a half miles in now on the trail and stop and make sure there's no perverts behind me. Oh, we just walked past a little group of guys. We couldn't even see them because they were in a cloud. I don't feel anything, I'm feeling fine. We definitely made a wrong turn. We got too busy sightseeing and mushroom searching. Please don't fall. He stands firm as he prepares his execution. Front double tuck, gainer backflip. Fear kicks in, but he continues. If you come to Red River Gorge and you do Coomer Ridge Trail, I'm soaked and I'm scared. My entire body is 75. I've, I've absolutely destroyed my internal organs. So. Yeah, you're 75, 80 on the inside. I know, I can tell. On the outside, you're built like a bodacious pimple. What? On the inside, I'm built like Roseanne Barr. Actually, on the outside, I kind of look like Roseanne Barr. On the inside, I look like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> also, to avoid a lawsuit, you don't put any of this on YouTube. Oh no, all this is going on YouTube. <laughs> we gotta go up that way. Yeah. He's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the ground shake when you jumped down <laughs> off that log. Heads up, Quake, because uh, there's a giant hill we're going up. Oh, good Lord. Almost there, man. Flattens out up here. That was brutal. That was rough. I can't breathe. That was tough. That was a massive hill, and I'm just now getting my breath enough to where I can speak. There's an overlook up here. Another hill is activated. Hills around every corner. Red River Gorge. Hills around every corner. And people smoking weed. Why do you think they call this Coomer Ridge? Coomer Ridge. Jenny, I may not be a smart man, but I am Coomain. I was Coomain. Well, here you are, Forrest Gump. You're, you're not the brightest person. And then some drug addicted hippie completely takes advantage of you your whole life and leaves you with her kid. I know a couple of Jennies and I'm definitely about as dumb as Forrest Gump is. Hieroglyphics. Chris Farley? Nice, I didn't know he would 
I didn't think he'd actually even be able to hike up here. The little sleeping pads that you blow up with your mouth, those are awesome. Yeah, those are good. Now, I had one of those, and guess what I did with it? I popped it. Huh? Not with a needle. I popped it by sleeping on it. Yeah, I laid on it, and it, I woke up in the morning, it was flat, and there was a big rip in the side of it where I rolled over in my sleep, and it just burst out the side, so... First good overlook of the trail. We are going to Hanson's Point to see Hanson's Point. You cannot come to Red River Gorge and not go to Hanson's Point. So we have a Lord of the Flies situation on our hands. We're getting closer to Hanson's Point and we came up on this little tree house in the woods and like 17 kids popped out and they got mud on their faces and stuff and they're marching and chanting and they're following us now. So they're trying to hike us out on the Hanses Point. They're probably gonna try to sacrifice us. <laughs> That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Did I ever tell you the story about that guy I used to work with? Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy one time at work, and I heard him in the stall in the bathroom, and he's just sitting there going, Ooh, Peppers, 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 Peppers. <laughs> so we called him Peppers. His nickname was Peppers. He's like, why y'all always call me Peppers? We're like, I don't know. It's just a fitting nickname. Peppers. Peppers, Peppers, Peppers. <laughs> oh, Peppers, Peppers, Peppers. All right, we're heading back to, uh, what's the name of the fucking trail? This is actually kind of a terrifying route. We're going through these woods right now just to escape a group of kids. This is the Blair Witch Project mixed with Lord of the Flies. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. You too. Yep. What is a dental dam? Isn't that like a... Isn't that a sex toy or something? It's like a sex toy or something. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd be out in the woods listening to Stephen King audiobooks and wondering if Pennywise the Clown's gonna pop out of a creek bed and, you know. And then, did you know that Stephen King was a raging alcoholic when he wrote most of those books? Well, that makes a lot of sense. But he quit, he quit drinking, and this is how he quit drinking. He started doing um, a certain white powder substance, so, and he says that saved him from, uh, being an alcoholic, I don't think that's how that works. Just get it over with. Climb this hill and get it over with. All right, I made it. I knew where I was going the whole time. I was just taking my time. Yeah. I'm not afraid to walk in water. You're taking your time this whole time? I'm not afraid of water. I'm not afraid to get wet. All right, we're making the final ascent to the top of the ridge and then back to the car and then from the car back to Lexington. From Lexington, we're gonna stop at the gas station and get some popcorn and then get that popcorn, get back in the car and then drive back to Indiana. So the end of this loop is just one gigantic spiraling back and forth, switch back, switch back after switch back. I can't breathe. Good Lord. Ha All right. I can't talk right now. What do you think about this trail so far, Sean? It's not bad. It doesn't matter what you think. Oh. But go ahead. What do you think? Nothing. Okay. It's like we're in Columbia. It does look like we're in the rainforest, though, when you get around a bunch of that. If you're from Columbia and you're thinking about coming to Kentucky. Hey, muchas drogas in Kentucky. Yep. Oh. You're not gonna die, I won't let you die. Two heart attacks, bye. Two triple bypass surgeries, bye. I can see where the ridge evens out up there. And then 
I'm not lying to you. I'm being serious. And because if you're lying, I'm gonna push you down this ridge. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. You listen, man. You drove us here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need a ride back. I mean, I'll stay here in the end, but here's what I'll do. I'll stay here in a little cottage, the little um, little Abner's motel. I'll stay there, and then I'll call my mom in the morning. Mom, can you pick me up? It always works. My mom never picks me up. Phew. Oh, geez. All right, we just hit nine miles. We're uh, on the straightaway now, going back to the car. And we should be there in about I don't know, half a mile, a mile. Should put us right at 10 miles and then we'll be done. I'll probably go home and eat a half a dozen toaster strudels, have some coffee and work on turning this disaster into an actual video. Make me making a video, it's like, it's like trying to, uh, um, uh, it's like trying to, uh, 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 it's like me trying to, uh, uh, uh. yeah. Muchas drogas. And mis ventes. I can smell myself too, man. This is not pleasant. Hold on. What? I don't remember going downhill. That's where we came in at. Now I do remember it. Wait, what did you say about the asphalt again? It's not the smell of the asphalt. That's my faulty ass. It's not the smell of the asphalt, it's your faulty ass. Yes. It's not the asphalt, it's the fault of my own ass. We're here. <laughs> yes. All right, we're done. We're back to the parking lot. It's 10 miles. It's Coomer Ridge Trail or Coomer Ridge Loop Trail at Red River Gorge. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.